Today I want to talk about Cohen's Kappa. Cohen's Kappa is a statistical measure of inter-rater agreement, of the agreement between two raters for categorical items. Now what does that mean? Let's suppose we have a bunch of people here and two raters have to find out whether each individual in this group is able to perform his job or not. So the rater here can be a doctor, uh, for example, or a psychologist or an instructor. This is our rater number one. And then, of course, we have also rater number two. So this is the situation. Two raters have to evaluate this group independently and to find out whether each individual is able to perform the job. Now let's look at the result uh, here and we want to write down the result in a form of a matrix where the columns uh, show the result of rater 1 and the lines the, the result of rater 2. This icon uh, shows the positive outcomes for rater 1 and 2 and this result shows the negative outcomes rater 1 and rater 2. Let's say now in this example that we have 10 people where Rater 1 and Rater 2 agreed that they are able to perform the job, 10 people. Furthermore, we want to assume that we have two people where both said they are not able to perform the job. Now, uh, in, any case, in this example, we want to say there are three people where Rater 1 said they are able and Rater 2 said they are not able. And uh, also we have four people in this example where rater one said not able and rater two said they are able. Now there's a total of 13 where rater one said they are able. And there is a total of uh, five where, of, of six, excuse me, of six people where rater one said they are not able. The total for rater two is 14 where he said they are able and the total is five where rater 2 said not able. So the total at all is 19 here. Now the question is, what would be a first approach uh, to measure the observed agreement intuitively? We would take these numbers because they agreed on 10 and they agreed on 2 out of 19. So the uh, formula to compute the observed agreement is 10 plus 2 over 19, which is 0 0.63. However, there's a problem with this because there's always the probability of random agreement and Cohen's kappa wants to take the uh, agreement by chance out of the equation. So we have to compute the agreement of chance first and to subtract that. So the agreement of chance that they both agree positive is 13 over 19 times 14 over 19 because in 13 cases, Rater 1 said yes, and in 14 cases, Rater 2 said yes. So this is the agreement by chance positive plus the agreement of chance for negative, which is 6 over 19 times 5 over 19. So the agreement by chance is already 0 0.58, which is impressing because that means that in more than 50% of the cases, the agreement just happened by chance. And for Cohen's kappa, for, for this coefficient, we have to subtract these 0 0.58 from the observed agreement. So the formula is observed agreement minus agreement by chance, and we divide that by 1 minus agreement by chance to standardize uh, this coefficient, because now we are able to say a 1 indicates a complete agreement between the two raters and a 0 indicates no agreement at all. In this example, Cohen's kappa is 0 0.12.